Hey kids, it's Miss Mary. Uh, how are you today? It's good to see you again and to be able to talk with you. Today we're going to talk about Jesus and how we can have Jesus in our heart. And I have a book I'm going to read and it's going to help us understand how we can have Jesus in our heart. So stay with us and we will read that book. So I'll be right back with you. If Jesus lived inside my heart, and this book is written by Jill Roman Lord and it's illustrated by Amy Wummer. If Jesus lived inside my heart, would other people know? Perhaps he'd use all parts of me to love and shine and glow. If Jesus used my eyes, I think, he might just recommend that when I see a child alone, I'd try to be her friend. I'd offer her some bubble gum or ask if she might like to shoot some hoops of basketball or try out my new trike. Would Jesus use my mouth to say, I'm sorry when I'm wrong, or offer kind encouragement for friends to get along? I think he'd use my arms to give big, warm, and snuggly hugs and hold my baby sister when she's scared of creepy bugs. My hands could make nice cards to send to Grandma far away. I'd also rub Mom's shoulders when she's had a busy day. I'd always try to do what's best so someone else might see that Jesus lives inside my heart and works through little me. And if there were one cookie left, I'd know just what to do. I'd split it with my brother, because he'd want a cookie too. I know I sometimes make mistakes. I'm messy and I spill. Then what does Jesus think of me? Does Jesus love me still? I think he'd say, I love you, child more than you'll ever know. Since you have given me your heart, I'll never let you go. I'll work through you and shine through you, just like the brightest light. I'll guide each precious step you take and help you do what's right. And though I live inside of you, I'm here for all to see when others see your acts of love. They're also seeing me. Okay, there's a little prayer right here that is in our book and it's actually written in the Bible, but it is a prayer and it comes from Ephesians chapter three, verse 17. So I'm gonna read it to you. It says, and I pray that Christ will be more and more at home in your hearts, living within you as you trust in him. And that is from the New Testament in the book of Ephesians. All right, kids, that's our book. And we learned a lot from it. It told us how we can have Jesus in our heart. And some of the ways were sharing and loving other people, being friends with other people, and just basically being good people and being nice. And uh, Christ wants us to show other people that we have him in our heart and that's how we can do it is by being nice. And so, that's our lesson for today. And so I'm gonna sing a song with you. 
and it's called I've Got the Love of Jesus, Love of Jesus Down in My Heart. I know some of you know this, and so I need you to help me sing it, okay? Because I need all the help I can get. So let's sing our song, I've Got the Love of Jesus. All right, ready? I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. All right, good job, guys. That was wonderful. Thank you for helping me sing, and I will be seeing you later. I miss you guys. I love you, and we'll be talking soon. Bye-bye.